Hello guys, here is Shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to make a very spicy and delicious snack that is called Poha Chiura Namkin. Poha means flattened rice and this is a very popular snack during Diwali. But you may make it any time in the whole year and enjoy it. It's very spicy and very crispy to eat and delicious as well. And the recipe is also very easy. So guys, let's see the recipe. At first, I have put a pan on the heater and I have turned the heat on. I am going to dry roast some whole spices without any oil. So, at first, I am taking some cumin seeds, 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, 1 teaspoon of uh, coriander seeds and half teaspoon of fennel seeds. These are the whole spices we need and now we need to dry roast them until they are aromatic. So, after about 2 minutes on low heat, they are ready. I am taking them out into a plate and uh, we need to cool them down and after that we need to make a spices powder. So, let's leave them. After some time, I am taking a mixer grinder jar and uh, our spices are in normal temperature now. I am adding them into the mixer grinder jar and now I am adding 1 teaspoon of red chili powder, 3 to 4 teaspoons of sugar. You may change the quantity according to your taste. 1 teaspoon of chaat masala. It's my homemade chaat masala and I didn't add any citric acid in it. So, I'm going to add some more sourness in the masala. And now, I'm adding half teaspoon of black salt. You may take the regular salt instead, there's no problem. And now, I'm taking 1 teaspoon of amchur powder, that means dry mango powder. If you're taking the market chaat masala, then you may skip the dry mango powder, there's no problem. Now, I am making a smooth powder, I mean fine powder and it is ready as you can see. Now, let us keep it aside and go for the main process. So, here I have taken about 4 cups of poha. Poha means flattened rice. You may change the quantity according to your requirements and I have taken the medium thin poha. You may take the thinnest one and that will be better for this. And here I have taken some dry fruits, some cashews, some almonds and some uh, raisins. And here are some chana dal that is called uh, split chickpea lentils, some mongfali that is called peanuts. And here I have taken some dry coconut and I sliced them like this. And here I have taken some green chilies finely chopped, but you may cut them lengthwise as you like. And here I have taken some curry leaves, about uh, 18 to 20 curry leaves we need for this recipe. So here are the things we need to arrange and now we should go for the main process, the frying process. So let's go for it. I have taken some oil for deep frying and now we need to heat it and here I have taken a big vessel. I am going to keep it beside my heater and everything I fry, I am going to add them in this vessel and mix everything together. So now I am going to check the oil. For this recipe, we need a nicely hot oil, proper hot oil. But the oil is not that hot yet, so we need to wait for some time and after the oil is heated well, we need to add the things one by one. And now the oil is heated well and I am taking a strainer to fry everything. Uh, so at first I am taking the moong folies, that means uh, peanuts. We need to fry them for about 2 minutes until they split very nicely. So we need to stir them a little to fry evenly. And they are ready. I am taking them out into the vessel. That big vessel I have taken. We need to strain the oil nicely. And now, I am adding them into the vessel. And now, in the same process, we need to fry everything one by one. I am taking the chickpea lentils now. And they are also done. It needed about 2 minutes on high heat. I am taking them out and now I am adding some more oil for easiness of frying with the strainer. After the oil is heated well again, now I am adding the uh, dry coconut to fry. We need to fry them until a nice red color and they are ready. I am taking them out into the same basil I have taken. Now, I am going to add the green chilies. 
we need to fry them until they're crispy. So no moisture should be there. And they are now crispy. I am taking them out also. And now I am going to fry the dry fruits. So all of them at the same time. I am frying them for about 1 minute only. And they are ready. I am taking them out. And finally, I'm going to fry the curry leaves. We need to be very aware while frying the curry leaves. So they are also crispy. I'm taking them out into the same basil. And now is the time to fry the poha, that means the flattened rice. I'm going to fry them little by little. So, a small portion of the poha. It takes only 5 to 6 seconds to fry poha. And the bright white color of the poha should not be changed. So, they are ready. I am going to fry them small by small like this. So, the second batch is here. It is fried very quickly. You may notice it guys. So, it is also ready. In the same process, I am going to fry all the pohas. So, guys, let us do it. So guys, all of them are done. Here are all of the things. And now, we need to add the spices. The spices powder we made previously. So, here is the mixture. I am going to add all the spices powder into the pan. And now, the only thing to do is to mix everything very nicely. With a spatula, of course. You don't need to use your hand for this. And they are mixed very nicely. And our poha chiuda namkin is ready. Let's check the salt and the spiciness. And it's fully perfect. You may add some more salt and some chili powder according to your taste if needed. After the namkin cools down fully, you may store it and enjoy it for about 3 to 4 months. So use an airtight container for storing it and enjoy it. It will remain crispy like this. It's super crispy and super delicious to eat guys. So try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me. Hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hope to meet you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Happy Diwali.